For most part in this course, we'll be studying mechanisms with four links connected in a loop. Now, this might seem awfully simple to keep anyone busy for a complete semester. But believe me, the variation of motion that it offers with just simple changes in pairs or link lengths is simply mind-boggling. So here is the simplest of its kind. Four links, one, two, three, four, connected with revolute pairs here, here, here and here, okay? forming what is called as a four bar mechanism. And we are going to learn a test that tells if this mechanism will have a link capable of complete rotation. Now, why are we so concerned about having a link that completely rotates because such a link can then be connected to an electric motor or in olden days say a steam engine or a internal combustion engine and uh, the whole mechanism can then be driven automatically the condition we are going to study is called Grashof's criteria it says if the sum of the shortest and the longest link lengths is less then the sum of the remaining two link lengths, then we should have a crank in our four bar mechanism. Here is one such mechanism. Let us test it. So the shortest link and the longest link add up to 30 plus 80 equal to 110. And the other two links, 50 plus 70 add up to 120. So, Grashof's criteria says we should have a crank here. So, let's test by actually dragging on one of the links here, the shortest link. And indeed, it is capable of complete rotation. It is not even necessary that uh, the shortest and the longest link should be one next to the other as over here. We can as well have them on opposite sides. So, for the link lengths satisfy Grashof's criteria, we will have a crank. Now here we are not getting a crank. Why could that be? Let's see. 35 and 90 add up to 125 while 50 plus 70 is only 120. So Grashof's criteria is violated. So the mechanism gets locked in this position or that position and it can't move. So let us change the link lengths. So I will change this to 30 and this to 80 and retest it. And there we go. Now we have a crank again. Here is an interesting question for you. Uh, do you think for Grashof's criteria to hold good uh, the smallest link should be free to move like this or could the longer link become a crank you can pause the video now and think about it because next we are going to fix the smallest link and uh, do this experiment and find out okay so let us zoom to this uh, mechanism here I'm going to turn on uh, the construction so we can see its bare bones underneath then I am going to release this link so its direction is no more fixed and we will fix the direction of our smallest link so it is fixed at this point and this direction is fixed let's hide the uh, construction and try to drag on the longest link And there we go. It still rotates completely. So Grashof's criteria is independent of which link is fixed.